What's up guys, it's Schneidy here, and today we are going to be doing a brand new gameplay on a brand new card. So, yesterday we got some domination, and it's not on uh, Pink Time Manu, that card is awful. I've literally played one game of this. Now, in all, it's, you get like, what, 50 tokens, a ton of packs, actually 60, 60 tokens, a ton of packs, a ton of MT. So, I'll probably do it, because... If I'm thinking about it logically, it probably gets me about 100 KMT from all the packs, quick selling games, etc. But that's not what we're focusing on. Today's Thursday, day before Friday, which Friday is a uh, pack drop. So 19 hours till packs come out, and now they have been releasing the limited warm up cards on Thursday. And this week it's actually a very, very interesting card. And it's going to be tough to do a gameplay on because you know defense is a tough gameplay but it is this new ruby nate mcmillan so this week's limited you need to have or you can only have three dime up to three diamonds and five rubies the rest have to be um sapphire or lower and they have to have an 85 defensive consistency stat so i mean a lot of players that basically have clamps have that badge so this was my team that i was running uh without nate mcmillan i threw in sapphire davion mitchell but this is actually a pretty good limited team i'm not gonna lie like it's not terrible like my diamonds and higher aren't even that great like i bet i could use like what's chris mullen defensive consistency i assume it's 85 yeah it's 85 i mean so i could but i just have success running my lower tier cards but Nate McMillan, let's see how he is. Okay, I don't know what just happened. I just clicked a bunch of buttons. Let's take out this John Stockton that I pulled out of a pack. <laughs> and throw in Ruby Nate McMillan. So here's why he's interesting. 89 overall, Nate McMillan. Actually a pretty good coach right now for the Hawks. Led him to the playoffs for the first time in like five years last year. Um, and previously a coach for the Pacers. I don't know where else he's coached. But he was a player for the Sonics, and I, and I think the 90s. But look at his height. He's six foot five at that point guard position, 81 offense, but 98 defense. And his offense, I mean, 84 three balls, not terrible. 62 driving dunk, not terrible. That ball handling is kind of an issue at 77, especially because looking at his badges, he doesn't have quick first step. But his defense, 93 steal on perimeter. Also, pretty good speed and, like, great lateral. He's basically just a defender. All defensive badges. He does not have quick first step, which is a little bit annoying. He doesn't have any, any shooting badges either, and he can't get many. Like, if I were to, if you were to use this card a lot, I'd put catch and shoot on him. If you can get quick first step, I'd definitely put that on him. He can get quick first step. But, like... Besides from that, like he can't get much shooting badges, and the other badges aren't that necessary. So this is a very interesting card. I mean, he, he's six foot five, but he's got a set shot sixteen as a base, I believe. But I was testing him out on freestyle. I haven't gone into a game with him yet. Look, um, look at his release. To me, that looks very similar to base thirty-seven. That it feels like a slower, um ricky rubio release so if you don't know ricky rubio has a very similar re release to this um i don't i actually don't think it's that bad i really don't you just have to green it because he doesn't have any shooting badges so if you're shooting a three it'd be preferably from the corner and he has to be open but i don't even think it's that bad it's just slow so it's easy to contest but besides from that i mean he's not gonna feel the fastest but he's got um, I think that's Trey Young, which is actually a pretty good behind the back. And he can dunk when he's wide open. So it's like, his offense is definitely limited. But his defense is going to be where it's at. But honestly, I'm not that mad about the release. It's really not that terrible. Um, Like you can see, I'm starting to get used to it a little more. I feel like it's very easy to see where the green point is. That'll say, the thing about these slow, slow releases this year is that it's really easy to see where you're releasing it. Um, so yeah, definitely an interesting card. What's his leaner like? Normal leaner, as most cards do this year. Uh, can I green a leaner? 
Probably not. He doesn't have any shooting badges, so it's going to be a little difficult. But let's see how he rolls. Let's green a three here. There it is. Now let's play a game of clutch time. Yes, clutch time. Definitely not my... F I, it's my favorite game mode. I don't love it in general. I don't think it's that great of a m game, but I did just get... Um, what was his face? Uh, Diamond Al Horford. So we're at 31 wins now. Let's take out Marcus Smart. It's going to be difficult because he's definitely one of the biggest parts of my team. We'll throw Nate McMillan. Let's see. Who do I want to... I've been running with Josh Smith. This is actually a pretty good card, for me at least. Anybody else I want to change? I don't want to put it in that card. Let's throw in... Uh, who was I? I had Eddie Yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep this team in here. Why not? I really don't have that many cards um, in my collection. So, there's very few cards that are good in my collection, and then the rest are just bad. But... Interesting, I haven't found a matchup straight away. I think Thursday's the most dead of dead day of the week. Thursday or Saturday. Friday is when new packs come out. Uh, school week gets out. Everybody's playing limited. And then once they get their ring, they're basically just getting off this game. But Chris Paul is my matchup here, who is a good defender. Um, I think we could be fine if I saw his team correctly. I saw Chris Paul, Sam Jones, Glenn Rice, Al Horp. Okay, that's not the greatest team. But you never know. Um, let's see how his defense is going to work here. Um, Alright. Nate McMillan. Definitely a card I didn't think we were going to get. He's got two good def defenders in the backcourt. Um, but we'll see how we do. I can't force it through him every time on offense because he really doesn't have, like D minus interior yikes <laughs> and he's fouling straight away he really has a D minus interior what's his free um what's his layup uh driving layup is a 66 that is a big problem you cannot have a 66 driving layup as a point guard and have so much success um all right let's go with Nate McMillan here. And we're lagging straight away. Oh. Easy midi. That's a green. There we go. He ran away from him. I'll take that every day. Alright, let's get some good defense going here. Good defense. Great defense there, actually. And a nice rebound. And we're lagging. Which is not something you like to see. I don't know why you're cutting, because you don't have a good driving layup. Oh my gosh, right at two seconds, I have to take that. I just hit that shot. Oh my gosh, I should have late leaner, uh, leaning left and hit it, and nobody's there. Uh, I'm not quite sure where my defense was right there. <laughs> um, but quick five points here for Nate McMillan. Oh, why you gotta be... Oh my gosh, that's my fault. I know Chris Paul can play defense, but I should have passed that. Um, all right, let's stop lagging right now. I don't like lagging. I don't think anybody does. That's great defense. Good close out there and a nice rebound. Let's go. This guy's not very good. Um, bro, why do we keep lagging? Oh my goodness! Dunk that. Dunk. Oh. <laughs> Wait, how is that not out? I thought he was out of bounds. Steal. Nope. Come on, please. Internet work. Should be getting new internet soon. Okay. That I don't know what um, Josh Smith is doing there. I don't know why he's sitting screen when I'm not telling him to, but this lag is really getting frustrating. Oh, good defense. What defense there by... Uh, What's his face? I just greened it while lag spiking. What is going on? That was great defense there by John Collins. And I just greened a three here while lagging. Luckily, I'm not playing a good player. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. That's really annoying. I, I mean, I'm lagging so badly. 
But we still have eight points here with Nate McMillan. Oh, nice behind the back. Wide open three. That's Eddie Jones. Nice assist there. All right. Despite the lag troubles, we're still doing all right for right now. Jump. Oh, that's a steal for Eddie Jones. Oh, yeah, run it up. Oh, get that dunk. Get that or get blocked. Sure. Get blocked by Glenn Rice, who is a terrible defender. That's great defense. I can't do anything about that. There's genuinely nothing I can do. I play perfect defense on that. Oh, yeah, why? It's so delayed, my game. Like, I snatched back way earlier than that. Oh, open. Three. I'm not going to get that. If I don't green A, it's not going in. Um. Oh, nobody's there. And just like that, it's a tie game. I don't know what my defense is doing right now. But they're not playing defense. Oh, get that burst. Oh, open. Three, Chris Mullen. That's not missing. There we go. Distributing the ball, scoring the ball. Oh, that should have been my steal, but if I, I wasn't paying attention. So we still get good defense there. Um, okay, I got to do something here. Oh, no, no, no. Go through it. Put that in. What was that? Genuinely, what was that? I'm not. I literally clicked B and it passed it to X. Maybe. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, that's not going in. This is starting to get frustrating here, this lagging. Oh, open three, Nate McMillan. No, 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 that's not going in. I didn't green it. No, that's not a, that's not in. No. <sighs> this Okay, it's actually a three point game and there's 46 seconds left. So I have to be smart with the ball here. Hopefully he misses a free throw. And he greens, or he greens a second. All right, we need to get a bucket here. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, open three for Chris Mullen. Bang. That could do it. He can probably get a bucket here if, if nobody's, okay, so we're there. We are there. That's Nate McMillan with the defense, but he gets that? No. No way that just happened. Come on, 2K. Send me a screen, please. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Steal. Oh my gosh. What a steal. And he has to foul. He has to foul. Oh my gosh. That was just such BS. Hit that. Thank you. No, not man. Not man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Good. Good. No way. If that goes in. Whew, that was a close one right there. We did end up winning. That's not what I want to click. Nate McMillan did have... 8 points, 3 assists. Did not shoot well. Did have 2 threes, and I think he had a layup. Yeah, definitely not the craziest card. There is a reason I got him, though. Um, and that's for defense. He didn't really show that much defense there. Um, but he still played defense fairly well. And yeah, let's see if we can get Michael Red. Come on. And it's not going over him. Okay, so that didn't work out too well, but you know, I'm probably not going to get Michael Red. Uh, but yeah, so Nate McMillan, interesting card for sure, uh, but not terrible. He's going to be very useful in limited, I'll tell you that. I think in limited, he's actually going to be really good for defense, but I mean, having a 65 driving layup is not ideal, so... Yeah, that is going to be the gameplay. Please subscribe, like the video, and tell your friends about it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.